in Africa, I think uh, around half the people do eat bushmeat. There are hunters who go hiding and killing them, and it's by then that we get babies like this. All the gorillas are bushmeat orphans. We spent three months together in my bed. Every time he was always with me, he was like a baby to me, and we became attached to each other. When you are already bonded to something, you know, you would not like to see someone eat it. It's just like having a child and then seeing someone eating the same family of your children tomorrow. The youngest gorilla I've ever handled is Kala because she come out of the forest approximately two weeks of birth. Because she came, she was not having hair, she was just like that. I didn't think even that we would succeed. When they go into the forest, they hunt. If they come across a, a female big gorilla, if they kill him, the baby is quite very tiny. I don't think it will get a good price when it is being produced as meat in a bush market. So they normally keep the baby alive in order to get a surplus profit from it because if they kill the baby they will not sell him on a high price but if they bring him alive like this they get to sell him to other people for high price as pets unlikely some gorillas die just because of stress of what have happened that to their mothers, they always think about it all the time, and they have it there. They remember, they have a very strong retentive memory mm -hmm. to remember, to recall things. Like in chimps, some chimps the mental problem have stayed forever because we don't know the way that their mother, they were captured or the way that they used to kill their mothers in the forest. So a chimp always comes now with a different thing in the head. Cheetah was a pet in Yandi um, for three years and she's been here since I think June. So she's been here a little over four months and she's about three and a half years old. And she's never been around chimps before. She loves to cuddle and she loves humans and it's hard to leave her at night because she doesn't want to be by herself. I think it's going to be a little scary for her at the beginning because they're going to be able to touch her and these chimps haven't been able to touch her. But I think that once she gets used to them, she's going to be pretty happy. We're on our way to the other enclosure.
How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little sad right now, but I think she'll be fine when she gets used to it and gets used to the other chimps. There could be an alternative if people were to educate. Like go around and educate people not to kill these animals and tell them the reason why. I always saw these animals in pictures. I've never known of them before. And I never had someone to tell me that this animal is like this. I thought they were really scary that they will only turn and bite or that something might happen, but when I came to be with them now at this present moment, I saw that they were really cool and gentle and accepting. So I think also they should have to give people an, a hint about them mm -hmm. so that to let them know what they are, not just to call them animals. <laughs> 